Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Mesenchyme and stem cells have great potential for tissue healing and regenerative medicine. They can be extracted and self-renew, but the process of proliferation in vitro leads to replicative senescence. This paper looks at using NMN to rescue the cells from senescence by activating the CERT3 pathway. Let's have a look at it in more detail. The clinical use of MSCs is limited by their ability to replicate without becoming senescent. Earlier studies show low NAD levels are related to the cellular senescence, and in a previous paper, the authors had shown that NMN can rescue senescence caused by NAD deficiency. In this study, they are looking at whether NMN can attenuate MSC senescence and what the mechanism behind this is. They saw that late passage MSCs showed lower NAD, CERT3 expression, and mitochondrial dysfunction. Supplementing the cells with NMN reversed these, increasing NAD, the NAD plus NADH ratio, and CERT3 expression, while improving mitochondrial health and rescuing senescence. Further investigation showed that this was due to activation of CERT3. In summary, NMN replenishment improves mitochondrial dysfunction and rescues MSC senescence through the NAD plus CERT3 pathway, which may provide a way of treating MSC senescence and a strategy for longevity supplements. So what are mesenchyme and stem cells? MSCs reside in the bone marrow and are multipotent, which means that they can differentiate into a variety of cell types. This is different from a pluripotent stem cell, which can go on to form any kind of cell. MSCs can form bone, cartilage, or muscle cells, as well as fat and other types of cell. During tissue healing, MSCs may exhibit several therapeutic functions to support the repair and regeneration of injured tissue. And a little background on CERT3. This is one of the seven mammalian sirtuins and resides in the mitochondria, along with CERT4 and CERT5. It is a NAD-dependent deacetylase, which is to say that it removes acetyl groups from proteins, which regulates their behavior. In particular, it regulates components of the energy generation in the mitochondria, such as proteins related to the electron transport chain, redox balance, and the TCA cycle. Its activities are upregulated with NAD levels, Increased activation has been shown to reduce senescence, and its deactivation has been implicated in a number of age-related diseases, such as cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, metabolic syndrome, and neurodegenerative diseases. The study was carried out in vitro, that is, in cell cultures rather than in living animals, to investigate replicative cellular senescence. Here, EP is early passage, which was the third passage, and LP is late passage, or the tenth passage. A passage happens when a culture is harvested and reseeded into a daughter cell culture. In these graphs, we can see that over time, the cells lose their structure, becoming larger and flatter. And the senescence markers, P16 and SA beta gal, increase, showing an increase in senescent cells. OCR is oxygen consumption rate. Healthy mitochondria will consume oxygen to produce ATP. Here we see that the OCR is going down along with the generation of ATP. So as expected, the cells are becoming senescent and the mitochondria less efficient with time. At the same time, there was a reduction in NAD levels and CERT3 activity. In the next experiment, they added a 100 micromolar NMN solution to the late passage cells. They saw an improvement in mitochondrial health from an increase in ATP generation, and in the lower graph, an increase in the mitochondrial membrane potential, a key factor in the generation of ATP. And a reduction in the level of senescence, as shown by reduced SA beta gal and better cell morphology. In a couple of experiments that I won't go into detail, the authors inhibited CERT3, which blocked the effects of NMN, showing that it was the mechanism of action. So to summarize, MSCs have therapeutic value, but generating more of them through replication leads to senescence. Adding exogenous NMN increases the NAD levels, which activates CERT3. This improves the mitochondrial health 
cell morphology, the NAD plus, NADH ratio, the mitochondrial membrane potential, lowers the level of reactive oxygen species and improves ATP production. So reducing the level of senescence in the MSCs. This is a bit academic in that it may help with clinical procedures, but it's not clear whether the NMN would help protect MSCs from senescence in vivo. Still, it is another potential benefit of NMN and does show its usefulness in maintaining MSC cultures for clinical use. Thank you for your attention, and I will speak to you again soon.